Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. That I was not trying to do. Poop. Okay, so I gotta replace a uh, Hall Effect magnetic switch here. It kind of looks like it's basically a switch that responds to magnets. So, take the covers off here. Again, what is 19 millimeter down here? I hope it's not 19 because I got my quarter stuff in here. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. But yeah, it's super weird. They have just like a random nut in there when you have to have three Allen headed screws, but you know, I'm not here to judge. hardware and stuff over here. Let's take a look, see what we can see. And I need to get into, right in this area, there's the connector sensor thingamajigger in there that I need to get to. And it looks like I actually need to take the, the freaking arms off of this thing to even get it out. So, there we go. That's what I need to get out. But the bracket is so huge on this thing. And that bubble is long as frick, geez. Back up a little bit, see. See what I'm doing? This is a sob connector. That I freaking can't get undone. go yeah this thing is so big it's big I'm serious how does that work oh oh there we go Uh-oh. That I was not trying to do. Poop. BRB. Okay, well that was kind of a boneheaded move. Let me tell you what. If you're a homeowner, mechanic, or a person that's alive, this little tool is freaking worth its weight in gold. I'll show you why. Even if you only use it like once a millennia. Watch how cool this is. Well, that fell way down in there. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, please subscribe, share, and comment down below. Okay. Well, I guess the arms are coming off.
So I was jacking around with this thing for a little bit, trying to figure out how to get the upper bolt off. The lower came off just fine, as you've seen. But I couldn't quite get to it, and that upper plastic piece doesn't come off extremely easily. You have to take the dash panel off, steering wheel, everything. So I determined uh probably need to go about this a little differently. these two out. Uh, if you'd like to see some of the tools that I feature in these videos and stuff that I use on a daily basis, let me know and I can make a video in the future about the different types and brands of tools that I use and some of the stuff you may not have even seen yet or even a video of uh, how my truck's set up. I'm not going to use zip tie, dang it. Now I have no idea where my small zip ties are. <laughs> and this one is just barely fitting. Maybe less likely to cut the wire, I don't know. Reasonable, let me say. Now, let's fish it back in here without dropping it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, what it looks like is this. This should. Drop in here and be held. And then they should bring this part of the harness right here through, but it's it's super short. But it should go through here. But I bet you why is they didn't make this uh, opening large enough to drop the sob in there. And this just barely gets out as we found out. So, yeah. Engine nerds, you know, didn't, didn't account for the size of stuff, I guess, I don't know. And that goes in there super easy. Can't quite see what I'm doing. You probably can't see what I'm doing either. Oh, shoot, I almost dropped it. Okay. You 
See, that's how that sits in there. And this is adjustable. Yeah. So, anyways. It's funny how just a freaking moment of lapse in consciousness turns into a 20 minute ordeal to get the wiring out of here. Okay, got that pulled back out. It sucks that connector down in. Adjust this up fairly low to begin with. Put on there. And we'll run that in until it's snug-ish. Then, so I've got one side of the arms that works. This side. Still not working. Hmm. Previously, if I would actuate these arms, I would get a 4604 code because this was not changing state to allow it to go. You can see now this indicator here for the arms goes away until we're fixed. All right, now we got this bolted back in. That'll be fixed, ish. All right, so I was test driving this around. This thing is a freaking violent ride, dude. You can hear all that, and just boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it shakes the whole freaking machine. So I'm like, what in the world? How about <laughs> uh. Yeah, so, like I said, ish. Because, uh, still gotta do something, I'm not even done yet. That's probably why it came out wired and crashed. 